Hello guys, welcome back to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. In today's show, we will see how to use SVG, which stands for Scalable Vector Graphics Image, in Power BI report for better user experience. So let's dig in and see how this can be done. But before that, a small intro. So guys, first of all, we have to download an image. We can search an SVG image, which is best suited for our requirements from internet. And let's see the source code, how it looks like once we download an image. So uh, this is the uh, hospital bed image I downloaded from net. And what we have to do after downloading, we have to right click and see the source code. So here you see a path value which is enclosed here. So you have to use this value along with the view box and other definitions value in the code to get this image displaying the correct percentage value as per calculations defined in our measure. Let's go back to Power BI report. So here if you see I'm using two images, right? One is hospital bed and the other one I am defining as the number of patients. So if I go to hospital bed and show you the code. So essentially here I am using five variables SVG start, definitions, gray bed, red bed and SVG end. So to start with uh, this is the first variable SVG start. So this value is defined here with the start tag of SVG. Right. And here, if you see these values define the height and width of that image. And here the SVG end variable is storing the end tag of SVG. The main um, variable is SVG here where we define the path as I showed you the source value in the image. So that value comes here. So if you see it starts with M108 and ending with 9z let's go back to the value so i have copied this value in that variable svg right so uh, let's go back then i am defining the other variables for the height the uh, y coordinate value and the final definition of the uh, clip path right so here I am using the uh, measure value the percentage measure in defining the height which gives this value and dividing it by 100 right so uh, so guys uh, that is not the exact percentage value if you see here so that's just a dummy value I entered in one of the tables so um, that's why I am dividing it by 100 to convert it into a percentage and then multiplying it by 512. So if you see here, the height and width is defined as 512. So that's why I have to multiply by 512 to give the exact height um, in this image. Here the clip by I am subtracting uh, 512 at the clip height I defined in the above variable. And then finally come the definition variable where I am defining the a clip path here you see uh, I have defined it as a rectangle and x coordinate as 0 y coordinate as the uh, clip y the value here and the width is uh, remains the same as 512 as defined in the above uh, view box value and height is the clip height so uh, declaring it as a clip height here and then closing the definition tag here after that you see I am defining the colored beds value one is the gray bed and the other one as the red bed so you can give any color as you see uh, this should be green bed not red one so as I have defined a green color here so uh, if you see here I am using again the same SVG variable so as to just define the style of this variable and here I am giving the green 
green fill to define the style of this green bed. So here the green bed variable has to use the clip path what I have named here. The same name is used here. You can give any name and then uh, concatenating it with the SVG variable, right? So that will give the uh, fill for the green bed. So finally returning the SVG by concatenating all the variables, right? So here if you see, they should all be in order. So it should start with the first start variable which we have defined here. Then the definitions should come, then the uh, style variables and finally the SVG end variable. So once we are done with this, we can use the uh, same measure value in our table, right? So if you see here, I am using this uh, table and then uh, just putting in the hospital bed measure here in this table. And similarly, I have defined the um, number of patients here. So if I go to the other image, which is this one, right click and view source. So here, if you see, I am using this as the path value, right? So again, uh, the same concept here, just the path value, the definitions, the uh, view box value, all those are getting changed. Otherwise, the concept is the same, which I have uh, just narrated. So then uh, just adding the other measure value, the number of patients as well in the same table. So if you see here, it uh, gives a nice look uh, like how many beds are occupied, what are the number of patients in the in the particular hospital. So these are the hospital names, Alfred Austin, Boxel, uh, Epping and St. Vincent. And then um, the percentage occupied here. So this is just a dummy um, value defined for this uh, demo purpose. These, <laughs> these are not the actual values guys. And this uh, here you see the summarized value will come if you just use that particular measure. So if you see the same uh, total value which is uh, uh, displayed here is coming here if just you use that particular measure. So guys you can use any image uh, as per your requirements. So this demo is just an idea how you can use the SVG image in your uh, in your Power BI reports. So this uh, just gives a better uh, user experience. So some users like the textual value, some users like to uh, see the images filled with color. So this is the best uh, image format you can use in your particular Power BI reports. Make the reports more user friendly as well. So guys hope this video helps you in preparing more efficient Power BI reports. Let me know in the comments if you would like to create such reports and if you are facing any issues. And guys if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and please do subscribe to Power Cubicle Guy. Thank you guys and see ya.